everybody welcome to the channel and happy Easter maybe a little early I realize Easter's coming up you know and I really haven't put any projects out for Easter I know it's kind of short notice but if I can get this thing done and edited for those of you that are really ambitious you might be able to give this a shot you know in a day and uh, get something together by Easter huh? Hope you guys enjoy. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, let's get into the project. As you guys can see, it doesn't look very eastery around here with the colors and no rabbits and all that stuff, right? That's okay. The plan for this project, if you already read the title, is to carve an Easter egg. I actually need to carve three of them, but we're gonna start off with just one, and if I got time for the video, we'll uh, we'll get three of them done. So I'm gonna be carving an Easter egg out of this piece of catalpa. I have three pieces of catalpa, all roughly cut at about 10 inches or so, nine, 10 inches tall. Got a girth of around four inches, roughly. And the plan is to carve a good size egg in here, maybe four, five inches tall and have a base. So we'll have an egg in here sitting on a base. I'll get all the bark removed before the project is done, get the egg nice and smooth. I want my kids to be able to paint these on Easter for something to do. We'll, we'll all be home as will a lot of you and uh, yeah, I think it'd be something fun, you know. I'll, create these wooden eggs and the kids can paint them. So that's the plan. I've got three of these to do today. I'm gonna to be using the jaw horse to hold everything securely. I'm gonna be using my battery saws, my MSA 200, my MSA 160 to uh, carve the eggs out. Once we get them carved up, we're gonna be using the ArborTech Mini Carver to uh, refine and sand everything down nice and smooth. Now I've got a couple bits from Sabretooth I'll be using for that. Right here's the coarse bit. We'll use that to get all the roughness right away. And then we'll get into using a fine carving wheel to uh, really start shaping and smoothing it out. And once that's done, we'll put on one of the two inch actual sanding pads from Arbor Tech and try to get it really nice and clean. Now I'm not sure how that's gonna go as this wood is still fairly wet, but I'll try my best, we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. I think this is pretty self-explanatory. Basically, you need to cut a cone shape down, kind of like a cone, and start rounding it. I'm gonna start off with a line going around and start carving it down. And we'll try to do real time or maybe just a little bit quicker. Nothing crazy though. You guys can just watch. I, I really think it'll be pretty self-explanatory and uh, get these things knocked out.
kind of looks like an egg, right? <laughs> Maybe after we do some more shaping with the uh, mini carver, we'll have more of an egg look, but not too bad. Not too bad. So I want to let you guys know that me and my kids have started a second channel. It's called Fun with the Halls. I'll actually put a link below this video because, well, I'm not going to put any finished photos of this up, like with it painted and everything. I'm going to do that over on our other channel once we, uh, you know, get past Easter and the kids paint them and things. We'll do a fun video and share them completed over there. Now, the channel's still really new to us, and so everyone becoming comfortable in front of the camera is still a, a new thing <laughs> together. It's, it's actually different here when I'm alone compared to when I'm with the kids. It's kind of tough to, I don't know, it, it, it's different. But we're working on it. We're bringing it around. It's something that the kids have really been pushing me to do that they want to do and share some of their ideas and things they want to do with people. And the idea is it's a fun kid family friendly channel family friendly kind of videos so if you guys got you know kids at home that might be interested in that sort of thing you know send them our way hit subscribe and check out some videos we've got a few of them up we plan on adding more so hopefully it'll grow and uh, become something new and fun with that said I'm actually going to uh, I think I'm gonna just set this one aside and carve the next two that way there, we can just start sanding everything all together at once, and it'll give this wood a minute to sort of dry out. all three carved up and I've got my Arbor Tech mini carver ready to go with a two inch coarse saber tooth disc. I'm going to go ahead and clean each one up with that and then we'll move on to the finer grit discs for uh, shaping and starting to really smooth everything out. If you guys are enjoying this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. If you guys want to follow you know what I'm working on what I got going on check out my Instagram account or follow the Facebook page you guys can find those links down below you can also find a link to my Etsy store where you can purchase a lot of different work that I've got available right now we're gonna take a quick commercial break and when we get back I'm gonna sand these eggs and get them ready for paint
there you have it three little eggs carved up and sanded I only went to the fine grit with the saber tooth disc um, I decided not to use the sandpaper as it's still pretty fuzzy and these are still a little green they're still kind of wet so I'm gonna let these dry out for a little bit and then I might just go through with some 120 or 220 by hand and just kind of clean them up a little bit plan to take a chisel or something and remove the bark all the way around because the bark's gonna end up falling off anyway and just kind of cleaning that up but there you go three little eggs that these kids are going to be able to paint on Easter. It's going to give us something to do in the house and just, uh, you know, spend some time together. Hopefully we'll be able to make a fun video for our channel. Again, that's called Fun with the Halls. I know I would. I know they would really appreciate the new subs and thumbs up on the videos that we've been making. There will be a link here at the end of this video and I'll leave it down in the description. You know, even if it's not your thing, Showing a little support and giving a sub is more than welcome. But again, it'll be a family channel. Uh, kid friendly, family friendly. We're hoping to just do some fun stuff. Hopefully it'll just be uh, a fun thing that me and the kids can do and everyone else can enjoy as well. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time.